Wow, the year 2022 is finally here. You know what's crazy is no matter what, it never sounds right when you say the year for the first time. I'm so used to saying 2021, 2022 sound like I'm actually messing up on a year. What is going on everybody? I am Sniper Jones and welcome back to another video. Happy New Year to everybody watching, man. And I honestly hope that this year, 2022, definitely gives you more W's than 2021 gave you because that was a hard year, I'm not gonna lie. In today's video, we will be discussing some of Jordan Brand's upcoming sneakers from the spring collection. Now, if we being fair, I gotta say a lot of these shoes are passable and that's not good like looking into the year bro it's a lot of passable sneakers but on the other hand it's also a few just a few that's actually worth copping and kind of got me excited about the new year very quick note before we get into the video i do want to let you guys know that jordan brand is changing the standard retail price from 190 on retros to 210. one of the first things i wanted to talk about that's dropping january 22nd for the retail price of 170 dollars is the air jordan one marina blue or dark marina blue now this sneaker definitely resembles the air jordan one royal and that was one of the sneakers actually if we being honest the Air Jordan 1 Royal was my first ever Air Jordan 1 I wasn't always a big fan of the Air Jordan 1s I thought they was kind of basic very regular kind of normal and it took my boy Doc to tell me to grab a pair of the Dark Royals I grabbed them material on that shoe was fire and I really never looked back after the Royal Air Jordan 1 the color blocking is what we kind of used to when we look at the Dark Royal which is this Royal Blue around the toe cap we get a little bit of black I like the fact that they decided to switch up the laces to not make it too repetitive by giving us some blue laces but if you know Air Jordan ones i guarantee they have a lace swap in there for white maybe even black or who knows how many different laces these will come with now for my people who already have the air jordan one royals this one is probably not a pickup for you but for people like me who either sold or missed out on the royals when they came back out this is your time to kind of get that color blocking at least okay worst chance scenario you get the color blocking that we want and as you know you can't really go wrong with air jordan one next on the list we got another air jordan one which a lot of people are actually excited about and that's the air jordan one brotherhood rumor has it is this sneaker the colorway design behind it is michael jordan's fraternity and also will be released in february 26 for the retail price of 170 dollars now out of all sneakers i definitely think this will be the sleep repair and what i mean by sleep repair is when a year comes out a lot of shoes come out more importantly it's a lot of sneakers that come out very early in the year it can easily be lost because as now right everybody kind of made their top 10 list of what was the best sneakers that came out realistically everybody is kind of focused or they remember what came out the last six months nobody really remembers what came out the first six let alone the second month of the year so this shoe can easily be forgotten about but at the end of the day i think that jordan brand will do a good job because if you look at any of the non-og colorway air jordan ones they always make sure they do a great job making sure that the material is always a1 i kind of think sometimes when they give us ogs they kind of lack on the a1 material and i think it's because they know that the og colorways kind of sells themselves but when it comes to a new colorway like this one, we get a little bit of Bordeaux, you get a little bit of light golden and a little bit of white. I feel like since the colorway isn't what we remember Jordan wearing, they kind of have to go above and beyond on the material to make it sellable. Next up, we have a pair of sneakers that I'm really looking forward to and it's not too many on this list. So I'm excited to tell you all about the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Red. This sneaker is released in February 24th for the retail price of $200. And if y'all know Snipe, y'all know I love Air Jordan 3s. More importantly, one of my biggest mistakes that I really regret is not picking up on the Katrina threes I thought that shoe was a sleeper I thought it was amazing I love the white and red color block and it's actually one of my favorites and I wasn't able to grab it and now we have the Cardinal threes which is kind of iconic because of that Air Jordan Cardinal 7 that's rumored to be releasing next year too the only downside about the Cardinal 3 releasing I think it can get overshadowed by the fact that Jordan brand has hinted that we will be getting the fire red threes next year now if we have to choose between the fire red threes and the cardinal threes i don't really even think it's a question if you look at these fire red threes it kind of looks like a white and red color blocking of the racer blue that we got this year and if we being honest i didn't really like the racer blue elephant print around the toe box and on that back heel I know Jordan Brand tried to do something different, but it just didn't work for me. I'm more of an old school guy. I'm not against them kind of stepping up their game and making some subtle changes, but when it comes to the elephant print, I really love the way it's already been done. And if they do want to redo it, I'm with that. I just feel like they got to do it a better way because the race of blue route was not the best. But with all that being said, the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Red is still pretty fire in my opinion. Out of this list, this is one of the ones that caught my eye. If you love Air Jordan 3s, you should definitely be happy at this list because there's a lot of them coming out next year. Next up on the list, we have a sneaker that 
that I'm not looking forward to at all. Y'all remember when I said majority of this list is bad? This sneaker falls right in line in that category. The Air Jordan 4 Amethyst Wave will release March 19th for the retail price of $210. <sighs> Jordan brand, Jordan brand, Jordan brand. I honestly don't even know where to begin when it comes to this because I love an Air Jordan 4, but at the end of the day, bruh, I gotta call it what it is. It looks like a Galaxy all over print on an Air Jordan 4, which really does not work for me. I feel like that's what a phone posit messed up when they had a chokehold on sneakers. They kind of got away from like the OG colorways and they went towards like these all over graphic prints. Y'all remember when they did like the thermal maps and the weathermans and the asteroids? It was just a very, very bad turnaround for the phone posit. Now, of course, Air Jordan is not on the same path as a phone posit, but still, wrong is wrong. It's not gonna work. This is probably one of the worst shoes on this list, I'm not gonna lie to you. For them to actually charge 210 for this sneaker, I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's low key insulting, bro. Like, I would never pay 210 for this shoe. Next up, we got another Air Jordan 4, which is the Air Jordan 4 Infrareds. These will be dropping February 8th for the retail price of $200. And I gotta be honest when it comes to these two. Now, I'm not really against the Air Jordan 4 Infrared. I'm just a firm believer of this is the exact same sneaker as the Green Glow but they just replaced the color of the eyelid. I don't know, man. Like, I know you can only do so much with an Air Jordan 4, but that's literally what this sneaker is. I don't know if any of you guys remember the Air Jordan 4 Green Glow. It was actually popular when it released. It's probably not as remembered as it should be now, but if you look at those photos, I'll actually throw both up on the screen. They look exactly alike. I'm not really impressed by the sneaker, especially for $200 retail. It's just so much stuff that's coming out next year. My goal, my plan is to kind of pass up on the sneakers that's kind of like if and maybes and really just cop the ones that I really, really want or save up to pay resale for some ones that I know I'm gonna miss because as we know, it's getting harder and harder to buy sneakers. What I will say about this sneaker is I do like the dual sided colorway on the shoe. The color blocking is kind of like uneven. You get a little bit of darker tone gray on the toe box. You get a lighter tone gray around the toe cap. I feel like that's kind of cool. But other than that, man, I still think this one is a hard pass. It might look great in hand, but I'm just, I'm cool on these, man. I'm not gonna lie. Next up on this list, we have the Air Jordan 5. Racer Blue. These will be dropping February 12th for the retail price of $200 and these ain't it either. Now it's not a huge shot against the shoe because it's actually pretty basic at best. The only problem is when I look at the sneaker, I just look at another black grape and I just be like, yo, like it's, it's a black grape five without grape. That's literally what it is. Um, is. I'm not the biggest fan of Racer Blue colorways. I don't really have too many color blocking of Racer Blue colorways, but once again, this is another one hard pass for me. I won't be copping these either. I'm not excited about them. I mean, it is what it is. I think this is like a sneaker for people who just want to cop. You know, if you want some Jordan 5s, cool, $200, right? I mean, it's in February, do your thing, but yeah, I'm not excited about these either. Now, this next sneaker I'm actually very, very excited about, and that's the Air Jordan 6 UNC. Now, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the Air Jordan 6, I will still say this UNC colorway is almost a hit on every shoe. I'm pretty sure you saw the UNC ones three colorways of UNC ones at this point. We've seen the UNC threes, and now we even get a UNC Air Jordan 6, which continues to be eye-popping and eye-catching. Now, I know a lot of people be like, hey, it's the same as the Carmine. They just swapped it out with the UNC. Even though that's true, I just think the UNC colorway is so eye-catching and it's so fire, it continues to work on several silhouettes. This sneaker will be releasing March 5th for the retail price of $210. And I can honestly say that's a price I'm willing to pay for these joints because I think they fire. Carmine Sixes came out last year. They didn't really get a lot of love as much as I thought they would. I mean, it was a lot of hype around the release, but pretty much after the release, it was like on to the next sneaker. Nobody really lingered on it. When everybody made their top 10 list, nobody had them in there. So I guess it was like here today, going tomorrow and that's an OG colorway. So I'm not here to say that this Air Jordan 6 UNC is going to be one that everybody remembers, but as far as the spring collection, I think that this one is worth buying 100%. Next up, we have the Air Jordan 7 Sapphire. Only have one word. Why? Why did Jordan brand continue to not only give us Air Jordan 7s that we don't want, but more importantly, they give us the ugliest Air Jordan 7s imaginable. Shout out to my boy Unbreakable Kicks and shout out to my boy Mike Rich. Those are two of my homies that I know for a fact live and die by the Air Jordan 7. It's their favorite Air Jordan silhouette, but I can't lie, bro. When Jordan Brand released colorways on the Air Jordan 7 like this, it does it no justice at all. This might be one of the worst sneakers on this list as well. I know I said that Air Jordan 4 was bad, but this is just as bad. More importantly, they put like the same type of linen nylon that they had on the PSG 
on this sneaker. And I don't know why you want to repeat that because it didn't even work for the PSG. So now you decide to actually put it on the Sapphire, which is a worse colorway. It makes no sense to me. This sneaker releases March 30th for the retail price of $210. And it's not at all worth $210, bro. This sneaker, that's before taxes, that's before shipping if you get it on sneakers app. There's no way possible I'm paying 210 for this. And if y'all if y'all gonna pay that, then let me know down in the comments, bro. But this is probably like one of the hardest paths. This and those Air Jordan 4s, what is it, uh, Amethyst? I just can't do it, bro. These are two shoes I just can't do. These are hideous, I'm not gonna lie. Now a sneaker I think everybody is excited to see again is the Air Jordan 12 Playoff which we haven't seen in so long. The Retro Air Jordan 12 playoff will be releasing February 19th for the retail price of $200. And as you already know, it's worth every single penny. Now the playoff 12 is something that we've been wanting from Jordan brand for a long time. They've given us, I would say they kind of gave us the Air Jordan playoff 12 without giving it to us because they gave us like the Chinese New Year. Then they turned around and gave us like that golden wing Air Jordan 12. It's been like a lot of spinoffs but it's never really been a real thing. I'm happy to say that it will finally be releasing and I think that this is one of the better sneakers coming out of this lineup for 2022. Black and white sneaker, you can't really beat that. On top of that, the Air Jordan 12 is just an iconic silhouette when it comes down to Jordan. When I see stuff like this, it kind of has me, you know, looking forward to the spring collection, but some of these, bro, I ain't gonna hold they just be weighing me down. Comment down below, man. Let me know what you guys think about the list, and more importantly, let me know how you guys feel about your 2022 and the sneakers that should be dropping. This is some of the spring lists that Jordan brand had to offer us, and these are pretty much my opinions, man. If you guys disagree or agree, then let me know down below, but I'm excited to bring to y'all make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new 2022 we kicking a lot of new content man i'm excited for the year guys check out my website link down below i'm selling a lot of sneakers in my collection jordans yeezys nike dunks everything will be linked down below and every price is cheaper than stock x and go i know because i compared and contrast the prices before i even put them up there until next time man it is your boy sniper jones you know i cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous but we're really putting in that work though snipe squad i love y'all dream big